Hi, welcome to uh, the weekly tip from the pros. My name is Kyle Hooks, assistant pro at South Suburban here, and I'd like to talk about, a little bit about chipping and some fundamentals and some practice tips that are going to help you get up and down. Um, first of all, a lot of amateurs come to me and tell me that they're blading the ball or hitting it fat, and more than likely that's due to them trying to help the ball up in the air. In a good drill, in a good uh, image to work on when you're chipping, when you're practicing, and even on the course, is to show your knuckles or your fingernails to the ground. When you take it back right here, you want to be able to show your fingernails to the ground. So you can have that nice compression between the club and the ground versus the club and the ball. A lot of people tend to help that ball up in the air, and what you're doing is you're showing the blade of the club to the ball. We want to be making a downswing on this. Most sandwiches have 56 to 60 degrees of loft on them, so we don't really need to help them. So when you take your practice swings, have an image of showing your fingernails to the ground versus keeping them up. So and also what we're going to do today is find a landing spot on the green. Too many people focus on the hole and either leave it short or too long. If you can get an image in your head of a landing spot and then let the ball turn into a putt, you're going to have a lot more uh, opportunities to get up and down. And what I've been doing since I was a kid is practicing hitting over a golf club. And it allows me to have an image when I get on the golf course of just a club there. So what I've done, I've kind of made a guesstimate how far I need to lay the club out for the ball to release to the hole. So the only thing that I'm going to worry about is hitting my chip over the club. It'll take a lot of pressure off when you're on the course, and it'll ingrain a good image in your head as far as getting the ball to release to the, to the, to the hole. So we'll try it. Fingernails down, and I just need to land it over the shaft. It's a little firm. Let's try one more. Better. I take that shot. So check us out at YouTube SSGC or like us at Facebook at South Suburban Golf Course. Thank you very much.